everybody to the channel and today we're gonna to be doing relleno de papa yes relleno de papa and I'm gonna take you step by step how to do the relleno de papa stop potatoes stop potatoes so okay mi gente so we're gonna do the relleno de papa yes we're doing the stop potatoes so super easy and uh, I want to I want to say this is so easy the cornstarch okay this is what we're gonna use cornstarch it's super easy. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get a pot or un caldero, whatever you wanna call it. A caldero, no, it's not a caldero. Um, it's an olla. Because a caldero is a big caldero, you know, when you make the rice in gandules. Anyways, you're gonna need a big olla and you're gonna fill it up with water. That's the first thing you wanna do. Start boiling the water. All right, so I'm gonna boil the water for the stuffed potatoes. All right, so. I'm gonna take, see how big they are. I'm not gonna do a lot of papa rellena, steak potatoes, steak potatoes, stuffed potatoes. Okay, if they. Oh. I'm gonna do. I got like. I got like this. So, I got these potatoes here. Yes. And I'm not gonna. um. I got the potatoes here, so I'm gonna um um la voy a mandar, voy a mandar la papa y le voy a enseñar detalle por detalle para que vea qué fácil es hacer el relleno de papa. No es un arte. Yo sé que mucha gente lo pone bien difícil, lo confunde, pero yo te dije que en este canal yo te voy a llevar paso por paso cómo hacer un relleno de papa porque a veces uno quiere comer algo criollo, uno quiere comer algo de, de la isla y uno dice contra mí, me gustaría comer un relleno de papa. Es bien fácil para hacer. Wow, es... isn't this an English channel? Yes, it is an English no, channel. Why are you speaking Spanish? Bueno, pues que porque yo soy puertorriqueño y yo me expreso de esta forma a veces. Yes, yo, soy, but yo soy este. There's gonna be English people watching it that are gonna be confused. Okay. They're gonna, they're gonna click off your video. Okay, for the English people. And for those people that you know, don't know how to do um, the stuffed potatoes or relleno de papa. It's super easy. Um, and I know sometimes you wanna eat something, you know, from the island, you know, from Puerto Rico. All right, so we're gonna have the potatoes here. We're gonna peel these potatoes. I got small potatoes. I'm not gonna do a whole bunch of um, stuffed potatoes of relleno de papa. And it's super easy. I wanna show you step-by-step step how to do it. And sometimes, um, you know, you wanna eat something from the island, from Puerto Rico, and, and you don't have to go out. I'll take you step by step, for you can learn how to do it, and you could tell me that you did it. Okay, so let's begin. I'm gonna peel these potatoes, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna peel all of the potatoes first. Step one, see I peel all these potatoes. They're not that big, but they don't have to be that big anyways. I peel the potatoes already, and I'm gonna cut them like this, I think. I'm gonna cut them in pieces. That way they are, um, they get soft really easy and they cook really fast. So I cut them in pieces, tiny, tiny pieces. Just like that. And make sure when you cut them in pieces, make sure you cut them um, evenly. Like if you're gonna cut in pieces, Make sure you cut them the same way, all of them. And I'm gonna tell you why. Because if you don't cut them the same way, um, some of them are gonna be cooked and some of them are not gonna be cooked. So you gotta make sure they, they all are the same way um, cut. So if they bigger and they smaller, try to cut them the same way, always. Because that way you know that everything is done. Instead of waiting for one big and one small, Everything is done. So step by step, like I told you, you're gonna peel the potatoes and you're gonna cut them in pieces. Make sure the pieces that you cut them is almost all the same. Super easy. Super easy recipe. Relleno de papa. Yes. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. If you like cooking, please subscribe to my channel. And if you like watching me, please subscribe to my channel. 
And I want to see some light. My other video, you guys gave me a lot of likes. And I appreciate that. Thank you very much for my subscribers. And I want to see some likes. Likes. We don't do Hayana Papa. We got the Papa here. The water is boiling already. So let's just put this Papa's potatoes. It's Papa. Just in case you don't know. Right there. We're gonna put all of them in there. And yes, like I told you before, this is not just a regular cooking channel. I'm not gonna bore you to death with ingredients and stuff. I'm gonna show you. It's better to show you than tell you. Because sometimes, you know, ingredients and stuff, well, I don't know what's that, I'm gonna show you. So, and that's what's different with me, because I'll show you step by step. All right, so hopefully I don't get burned doing that because that's hot and sometimes you do get burned. All right, so I got the potatoes in there. All right, so meanwhile, this is boiling. Um, see, I use this cornstarch and how I do it, I like how I do it, because I don't have to add eggs. Some people add eggs, and, um, and it's raw egg, and then you have to fry it. I don't think I like raw egg in my papas after they are done, so I like to do the cornstarch. It's, it's safer for me, and um, that's the way I do it. And the cornstarch, this is the only thing you need. And you're gonna put salt on this water, on your taste, however you like. If you like really salty, put salt. If you don't like the other side, don't put that much salt. So I'm gonna put a little bit of salt in there. Special salt. And this hole is really small, so. All right, so I got leftover um, ground beef. Okay, I got leftovers. And this is my leftovers that I got. And I, I'm gonna do the Cayeno Papa with my ground beef, um, ground meat. And I'm gonna warm it up, so I'm not gonna tell you how to do the ground beef because I already did it. And, um, you know, I had it there, so if you got meat, safe, and you got papas, you got some potatoes, so do some cayenne papa. You could do, you could do steak, you could do ground beef, and you could do um, chicken. Also, you could do ham and cheese cayenne papa. I tasted it before, and it's delicious, so. Whatever you like, you know. But I'm gonna do some ground beef, the Cayena Papa, and I'm gonna warm this. This is already cooked. I'm not gonna do, I'm not gonna cook all that. I'm gonna cook all that. But I'm gonna put a little bit in there. Let me see how much I'm gonna put. Enough for the Cayena. There we go. That, that'll be enough. And I have this in the freezer. And you could store stuff in the freezer, like me and stuff, and I always store it because you could always use it again and again and again until it's done. So make sure you write the date um, of the meat. It's always good to have the date, that way you know when you did it. But in the freezer, you know, you could keep it for a while. So, and that's what I'm doing. It's frozen, so I'm gonna just put it in here and I'm gonna warm it up in the stove. And it's gonna be super easy. All right, so the potatoes, the potatoes are done. The meat is already warm. And we're gonna drain the potatoes and we're gonna start doing our relleno de papa. Okay, so we're gonna start doing the relleno de papa. The meat is done. The potatoes is done. And yeah, the stuffed potatoes, super easy. So we're gonna put this off. We're gonna drain it. We're gonna drain the water from the potatoes. And I'm gonna show you how to do next. You're gonna need a little bowl like this. Cause you're gonna put the potatoes in there. You're gonna mash it and you're gonna put some of this. Corn starch, corn starch. Remember, corn starch. Don't use nothing else. This is what I use. Watch, it's gonna come out excellent. And we're gonna put them in here. Nice and soft. 
All right, so we drain the potatoes, and we're gonna smash these potatoes. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna smash it. We're gonna smash the potatoes. Smash, smash, smash potatoes, smash, smash. All right. Smash it. We're gonna mash it all. And we're gonna add five spoon of cornstarch. One, two, three, four, and five. Now, what you need, now what you need to know is that this is gonna feel like a dough. That's what you want, like a dough. It's mashed potato, but it's gonna feel like a dough that you could actually build a bowl. Okay, so that's what we're looking for. And obviously, we're not gonna touch this mashed potato because if you touch this mashed potatoes, you're gonna get burned. There's 100% you're gonna get burned if you touch it with your hands. So we're gonna let it sit for a little while. All right, so. And we mash and mash and mash. And you see how it looks? It looks like, like you could build a bowl. I'm gonna put more, and you could tell, you could tell, because the mashed potatoes, you could tell when it's different. You don't wanna put too much, but you wanna put enough that looks like, like a dough. But not like a dough, like making pizza, but that you could actually build a bowl. Okay, so I'm gonna add one more. One more. And there we go. And this is better than eggs. I think this is better than eggs. For me, it works for me. And so, and that's the reason I use it. I'm not gonna put raw eggs in here. I'm not gonna do that. And um, it works, it works really good. And it doesn't change the flavor at all. Now, you could grab it like this, and you could feel it. You see how it looks like a, you see you could actually make a little ball, and it stays like this. That means that's what you want. You also want to taste it. And it's excellent with salt. And most people that I know, they put um, some seasoning, some um, sazon. I'm not gonna put my sazon in there. Some of them like to make a little bit color in there. I'm just gonna leave it like that. So, but it's excellent. It's just excellent. So I add six spoons of cornstarch and I got this and you're gonna see how easy I make the bowls in there. Super easy, the potatoes, cornstarch, and that's it. No big deal. And then you're gonna fry them. That's what you're gonna do. You're gonna put the meat inside. I'll take you, I'll take you to it. I'll take you to it. I'm gonna show you how to do it. It's super easy. And then cool down a little bit, don't get burned. It's not gonna go bad. Okay, so let it sit there a little bit. Let it get cooled down. You see this meat? Let the meat cool down too. You don't want it too hot either. Okay. I'm gonna uncover it, that way that steam goes out. Let the meat cool down a little bit. Let the potato cool down a little bit. And then we're gonna start doing this. All right, so the oil is hot. This is cooled down. This has been cooled down. So now it's time to take the balls and work with the balls, okay? <laughs> that sounds kind of funny. Um, let's work with those mashed potatoes and do the balls. So this is what you want to do. Go like this, and how big is your, your fit, like this, like the ball, how you make small, you know how to make snowballs, right? So just like that, just like making snowballs, you make just a snowball, it's a small. There you go, you see this? Now what you're gonna do is, once you make the ball, okay, you're gonna go around it, you're gonna squeeze it around it, okay? This is what you're gonna do, you're gonna put your, this finger, you're gonna make a hole in there. Don't go through it, okay? And you want to uh, go like this, you see? 
and it's gonna break a little bit. It doesn't matter if it breaks a little bit because you're gonna you're gonna seal it. But what you wanna do is you're gonna build a little hole in there. That's one way to do it. Now the other way, I'm gonna show you the other way. You're gonna flat, flatten this out, just like this, okay? And you're gonna press here, okay? Make like a little hole, like a nice little hole in there, and you're gonna put your meat there. Either way, how you do it, it's gonna work. So once I have it there, you're gonna get your meat, you're gonna put your meat inside, You got your meat inside, and you're gonna cover it. You're gonna go like this. Make sure that your meat doesn't have any liquid. Because if it has liquid, and this one has liquid, you see the liquid? If it has liquid, that liquid is gonna, when you hit it to fry, I'm gonna show you what's, what's gonna happen with that liquid. But this is what you wanna do. But make sure your meat doesn't have liquid. Make sure you drain the liquid from your meat, okay? So we're gonna put this potato, even though they have liquid, um, I'm gonna put it, but it's gonna start sparking up and you don't want that. So make sure you drain the liquid from the meat. Always drain the liquid from the meat, always. So this ball is ready. As you can see, it's ready. So I placed that ball there. I mean, while that ball is being done, I'm gonna grab another one. And it's super easy. And you could do it as big as you want. You don't have to be so big. Um, I do it just regular size. Do a little hole in there like I did. Just like that. Just a little hole in there. And try to drain the liquid. Try not to put liquid in there. The less liquid, the better. Then you're gonna close it just like that with your fingers. You're gonna close it just like that. Or like this, you're gonna pinch it until it goes again or close and then you're gonna go like this with your hands you're gonna start building the ball again okay so if you see that it's coming out from somewhere just add a little bit more and just like a snowball it's just like a snowball okay so this is done too super easy this is super easy you're gonna put it there and then once you got those in there um just do two at a time, I do two at a time just to keep track of them and that way they don't get burned. And you want, what you want to do is, you want to, I'll show you. So that's what you want, you want to see golden brown, just like that. And then just move them, just like that. Once they're golden brown, you see this color, that's what you want. You want to take them out and drain that oil. Place them here, just like that. And you got your first potato. You got your stuffed potato there. That's your first plate. It looks good, nice and crunchy on the outside. And we're going to work on this one. This one's almost done. Being fast is super easy to do. Step by step, how to do it. And that's the meat there. You see it has, it's got liquid in there. If you, if you don't have to add the liquid, that's even better, but just take it like that with a spoon. You don't have to add the liquid. And you could do with this with steak, you could do it with a ham and cheese, you could do it with um, chicken, however you like. I do two by two, two at the same time. Nice boiling there, really nice. And 
Drain that oil. Drain the oil. And we got two potatoes in there. Oh, beautiful. You got nice color. Nice color. Okay, so if you're not gonna eat a lot of potatoes and you wanna save it from the next day, you could actually do potatoes and save them. Put them in the freezer and I'm gonna show you. See, I'm gonna put these in the freezer because I only did two today. And I'm gonna put these in the freezer. So, super easy. That's one. And you can put these in the freezer, leave them in the freezer, and then tomorrow morning, you could just deep fry these. And that's it, super easy, super easy. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give me some likes. And if you're new in this channel, please subscribe if you like the video. And you want to see more cooking? This is not just a regular, not a regular cooking channel. So, want to have fun? See me cook? Subscribe. There we are. Another ball. You see how easy it is? Super easy. Super easy. And you can save this for tomorrow. You can save it for the next day. Just as long as they in the freezer, they will not go bad. And if you don't like frying, put it in the oven. 350 for 35 minutes to 40 minutes. They should be done. Because remember, these are cooked already. The potatoes are cooked and the meat is cooked. You just want to warm them up. So if you don't like frying, you could use an air fryer. It's not going to taste the same. It's not going to taste the same, but you know, it's a little bit healthier, but it's not going to taste the same. And I always say, are you going to do fried food? How it is, it should be fried food, no air food. Because if you do an air fryer, it's not going to taste the same. It's not. And this is it. And we're going to open those potatoes. We're going to taste the potatoes. Just trying to finish this bash here. And stay tuned because I'm going to do a stuffed potato, but it's not going to be a stuffed potato. It's going to be something different. In my other video that I'm going to do, it's something totally new. Nobody has it. I'm the only one that has it. I'm the only one that's going to make it. And so stay tuned for the video because I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. And it's got to do with something with uh, stuffed potatoes and something else. You can't miss this. Don't miss that video, because nobody has it. I'm the only one that's gonna do it. So, all right, so these, this right here, I'm gonna put this in the in bags, and I'm gonna freeze them. I'm gonna put them in the freezer. Next day, or whatever I wanna eat them, I could eat them. I just gotta warm it up, put them in deep fryer, and that's it, I'll eat them. So, I'll put this on the side, and I'm gonna take, I'm gonna show you this, what I did. These are done, these are done. So I got the two stuffed potatoes here. They, no grease, they didn't even, no grease. All right, so look at this stuffed potatoes. Relleno de papa, look at this. Look how steady they are and they are crunchy. Alright, so 
I'm gonna take a close up where you can see them. All right, I'm gonna break one in half. Oh my God, how crunchy. Look how beautiful. Look at that. Wow. Look at that. Look how beautiful that looks. Look how beautiful that looks. That looks so beautiful. And that's what you wanna see. All right, so I'm gonna try this. Mm. Mm. Yeah, really good. Okay, so if you do one of these, I wanna, I wanna see. Comment, subscribe if you're not a subscriber, and if you like this channel, and if you're watching, thank you very much for those subscribers, my subscribers. Thank you again for subscribing and watching this channel. And I hope you make the rellena papa. They are really good and simple. You see how easy I make them? They're really good. Mmm. Delicious. Wow. Thank you for watching me. Be safe. Stay safe. And I'll see you next time with Cooking with Jonathan. Thank you again.